All right, everyone. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take a basically a cylinder and two other cylinders that are on top and combine them together into one form. Pretty challenging to do. So here we go. So let's start off with a basic disc. We're going to bring this out. I'm going to make sure the snaps are on. And I'm going to bring this out to two feet. And then I'm going to actually select the actual line. I do not want to do the face because this is going to save us time. Let's extrude this out. And we're going to bring this out. So basically, we're going to be dealing with um, surfaces and not objects. So that's the best, easiest way to do surface modeling. So let's go ahead and OK. Now we got your actual cylinder. We are going to take this now and make a copy of it. So Shift D. And we're going to bring this up. And I'm going to bring this out of the way. Something like, something like that. Hey, everyone. I have two new classes available on Gumroad right now. The first one is totally free, which goes over the UI and tooling for beginners and is a full course on creating this cool thumb drive by PNY. This class goes from beginning to end, so it's a great starter class for beginners. The second course is this really cool Bork blow dryer, which is a production design model. This is also from beginning to end and creating this awesome model. This will go over some more advanced modeling skills, but light enough for beginners to immediate learning. Both of these classes will help jumpstart your learning in this great program. Links to these two awesome classes will be down below in the description. OK, back to the video. Hit the OK. So now I'm going to take a line. I'm going to bring this straight up. And you see right now we have a 90 degree angle right there. And we want to rotate this in like basically 15 degrees. So to do that, we can just hit the Tab key. And we can actually tab it one more time, hit 115. So that basically says that it's going to be 25 degrees off from that existing location. So we can bring this up a little bit farther like that. So now we got this position correctly. The idea is the closer you get this object to this object, it's going to bunch up quite a bit. So you need some space here. The magic number is, you know, if you actually had this turned with this line, it'd even connect easier. But we're not going to do that. We're going to take a straight object with a straight object. And let's go ahead and now move this. I'm going to take the snaps off here. I'm going to take this object, hit the G key, hit the F key, and I'm going to make sure that I line it up with this line here. And I think this is a good amount of, you know, separation here between this object and this one. So we'll go with that. So let's go ahead and mirror this to the side just so we have it. Select the object, hit the mirror, and we're going to go right to the opposite side. And we're just doing this to see what we're looking at. So there we go. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to cut into some of these pieces here to make it easier. So let's go and select this line and delete it with this side here. And we're going to bring a line all the way through. So let's bring this down, tight down the center, right there. Right click, good. Now we could actually select these three objects on the side view here. And let's go and hit the cutter tool. So let's go and cut this out, hit OK. Now we select these sections. So go ahead and select to the right of that a little bit. Select those, delete them. Cool. Now we actually have it open, open, and it's much easier to work this out. All right, so now we got that done. Let's go ahead and add, add some more details. So what I want to do is I want to add a line here. So we can actually select the surface here. And we could just hit, hit the Control R key. Hit the center here and right click. Cool. Now let's make sure we right click here, show edges. So we know that that worked. Same thing here. We're going to select the actual surface here. We're going to do a control R and again hit the center. There we go. Same thing here. Control R, hit the center. There. And we got all these kind of worked out. Cool. Now what we can do is we can start connecting these pieces together. So we're going to make sure that we connect this piece to this piece, this piece to this piece. And then we're going to work out the center. So first of all, select the line tool, select this line, select this line. And I'm going to have the F key for me uh, for search. Normally you'd search for bridge edge. I made this into a quick, easy favorite. So it's just basically a quick way to get stuff. I'm going to also put in here just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to say bridge vertex. I'm going to actually add that in here too. Right click. And you're going to add it to favorites. That way, all the favorites are now there. So we can go out of here. So we got this two lines selected again. Hit F. Now we got 
Bridge Vertex and Bridge Edge. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and keep the G2. I think that will be much smoother looking curvature wise with that object there. And OK, select this line now and this line. Again, same thing, hit F, Bridge Edge, and there we go. Now what we can do is we can select this line here, hit the E key, and we can bring this out. We need to have an edge here to help us control the curvature on this section that we're going to connect again. So now we got that one. Let's go and select this one again, E. And we're going to bring it out this way. Cool. Now let's go and select this line, this line, hit the Shift key, and let's go ahead and delete those. Cool. So now we got basically four sections here. So let's go and start with that bottom one first, then this one, then this one, then this one. We're going to hit the patch tool. Cool. Now G1 is what we want here because I want to make sure these are tangent with the top and bottom. These are going to stay at G0 because they're not connected to anything. If you, if you put G1 here, watch what happens. It normally would disappear. See, that's what I mean by that. So normally I just keep these at G0 at the beginning of all this because it still has the curvature, which is fine. All right, cool. So now we've done that. Let's go ahead and now let's focus on this one. So we need to now get this. So we got that piece there, and now we want to get this piece here. So again, hit the edge line here, this one here, and we're going to hit the F key again, bridge edge, and there we go. Hit OK. Now that we got that, let's go and select this and hit the E key. And again, we're going to bring this out to the right. And let's go ahead and delete this. We don't want to keep these here because it'll cause a problem with the actual tendency. So let's go ahead and select the bottom here, this one here, this one, and this one. Now let's hit the patch tool again. Now what happens is if this does not work, it's because these, these are not connected. So that is something you've got to make sure you do. So right now we have this piece. So what we can do here is I'm going to hit this one just so we don't have to worry about this anymore. Shift X. I'm also going to hit this one. Shift X. Now that I got that done, I'm going to select, make sure these are all connected, right? And it is, so we're good. Let's go select this line here and delete it now. We don't need that no more. Now I'll go ahead and select this one. This one, this one, this one, patch. There it goes. So now let's go ahead and make sure this is G1 this time, G1. As long as there's an edge there and, and a piece to go to, G1. This is staying at G0, again, because there's nothing there. We have no way to connect to anything. But, you know, since we're going to actually add in the actual opposite side of this curvature, let's see if we can still do that. So I'm going to undo that, hit the patch again. And if it lets me, then I'm going to go ahead and do it because this is G1 here, so we should be okay. Let's go G1. All right, cool. So that worked. Hit the OK. Now we could select this. Hit Shift X. There we go. That's simple. Now that we got this done, let's go and select this. We're going to go to the side view here. We're going to hit the mirror tool. It's not right here. Hit the side. And we're going to merge halves and done. So now we got our pipe from that angle to that angle, right? Now the problem is, is that we still got to connect these two together. So how do we do that? So what I normally do is, first of all, I don't do this piece yet. And the reason for that is we need to connect the center. So let's go ahead and hit Shift X. Even though we got it kind of worked out, let's just do that for now. All right, so to make this easier, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit this line here, this line here, I'm going to hit the Shift D to make a copy of it, right? I'm going to go to point mode here, and I'm going to select these two points here, and there we go. Now, what I want to do here is I need to connect these as well. So let's go ahead and hit the F key. And again, I got the bridge vertex that I showed you earlier, and now I got this hanging here. So now we got a G2, G2. So let's go with that. Hit OK. So the idea now is that we have this in place. First of all, I'm going to have to hit this Shift D. I'm going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to use this sweep here. So I'm going to sweep it along this. And there we go. 
So now we got our nice curvature that we needed to connect this to. So now that we've done that, we can actually delete this. We can delete this and we can now select this section and this section, right? But first, before I do that, I want to cut this in half because it just make it that much easier to reconnect everything. So let's go and select this over here, select it, hit the cutter tool and cut. There we go. So now we got this, we can actually get rid of all this stuff. We don't need this anymore. We'll, we'll read add this in a minute. Just want to get that to get an understanding what this was going to look like. Cool. So now that we got this edge here, I need this edge here. This will help us reconnect this together. So let's go ahead and hit the F key, bridge edge, and we got G2 here. I don't want G2 on this one. I want this at G1 and G1 because I want it more straight. I don't want it that awkward looking turn. It's just not going to look right. So let's go with that. Hit OK. Now that we got that done, now we can take this line here and extrude it. So I'm going to extrude it this way. Hit the OK button. We can now delete this piece here. Now that we've done that, now we got this piece here that we can rework. So what we can do here is we can just select this. But before we do that, what I want to do is I want this to have the opposite side together. So again, mirror, opposite side, hit OK. And then I'm going to hit the J key so that there's one piece. Because what I want to do here is when I actually do this, I want to make sure this piece stays or this edge here stays. So let's select the actual face now. I'm going to hit the Shift X to delete it, right? Cool. So now we got all this worked out. Let's now reconnect this piece together here. So select this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And let's go and hit the patch tool. Now, if the patch does not work, it's because something is not connected. So cancel. So let's go back and see what's going on here. So this is not connected with this. Hit the shift key. Always got to make sure these things are connected. This does not need to be connected, but these do. So hit the J key. Now we got one object. Now let's try this again and see what happens. So if you hit the line tool here, select that one, this one, this one, that one, and this one. Now hit the patch. There we go. It's all it was, uh, the problem was it just wasn't combined together. So now we're going to hit G1 because this is going to need to connect to this curve. G1 here because it's going that way. G1 here. G1 this way. And really G1 here because we're going to have the nice tangency on this edge here. So hit OK. So basically that is your half of your pipe. So now what we can do is just select this one here. Shift X. And there we go. Now we can just select these two here, Shift X. We don't need these anymore. And I don't need any of this stuff anymore. So I'm going to Shift X it. And what I'm going to do now is combine it with the mirror tool. So let's go to the side here. Mirror, select the opposite side. Merge halves, hit OK. Now we got that done. Go back here, hit the, again, mirror tool, which Alt X is another way to do it. Hit the opposite side, merge halves, hit OK. Cool. So now we've done all that. Let's see what this looks like. So let's go ahead and right click, show edges, take that off. And yeah, that looks really, really cool. Now what we can do is we can actually go to this version here. This is really, um, you know, it will show you all the imperfections with this shading. And as you can see, this looks really, really good. So this is one easy way to connect two sections into one. I hope this helps everybody. So one more thing that we can do here is we can thicken this pipe so it looks like it's a real pipe. So what I would do to do that is I would just select the whole thing. I'm going to go here to thicken. And I'm going to pull this out. And again, I'll probably go off the shading mode because I want to see what I'm doing here. So I'll go to like this normal. And I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to go e either negative or positive. I'm going to go like 0.3. Yeah, see, it's just easy way to get those those curvatures. But what I'll do is maybe point, actually we're at 0.02 tab. And now we got a little bit of edge here. I still think that's a little too small. 
Let's go with point. Let's do eight. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That looks much better. Hit OK. Now we got our pipe. And it has uh, definitely a good look to it. And what, what I would also suggest on anything that we have that we build is that you take all these edges and just make them a little bit more like a basic fillet on everything. So it actually has a little bit of um, edge to it. So it just is much better. Nothing's completely flat in this world. All right, so let's also do the bottom here. Just pull it out a little bit. Not that much, just a little bit on the plus like that same thing here and a little bit on the plus there we go all right cool it's a simple object but complicated to connect so if you have any questions on how to create stuff like this let me know i'll be glad to help in any way i can so there we go all right well thank you for joining me please subscribe and continue to do these thank you